Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. So this time I'm drawing Kazu from Air Gear. And Air Gear is a manga and it's been made into a anime. And I'm pretty sure they never finished the anime. They kind of just gave up on it, I guess. I don't even know if it was a full season. It was a while ago that I watched it and I used to really like it. But it kind of just stopped and it just kind of stopped on a bit of a cliffhanger. So I actually started reading the manga for it and I have to say like the artwork for Air Gear is pretty amazing. It's pretty full on, there's lots of like really cool posing and stuff like that. The artist who does it is oh great, well that's his pen name anyway. <laughs> and yeah, he's pretty talented. Just yeah, I highly recommend check out the, the manga for that because it's pretty crazy. Well, at least that's what I remember it being. I mean, it's been a while since I <laughs> since I read that. I kind of stopped reading it. It got pretty weird. <laughs> it got really weird, as these mangas generally do. But <laughs> yeah, the artwork in that's really cool. So I just decided to draw a character from that, um, Kazu, or Kazuma. Um, <laughs> yeah, I used reference for this one. I kind of had to add a little bit more to it because the reference I used actually was the left hand side was kind of cut off so I just had to kind of extend the jacket but that's pretty easy. It was just a cool reference, it reminded me a bit of the Ichigo drawing I did a couple of weeks ago or whatever. Same kind of style, really high contrast, lots of just extreme shading and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a pretty powerful image I reckon and I thought it turned out pretty cool. I didn't really do anything for the background, I just kind of thought it looked cool just having a simple look. The plain white background kind of worked fine. <laughs> I kind of, I'm just, I'm laughing because I've got so many memories from Air Gear. I just really got into it <laughs> when I was younger. So much so that I decided to go out and buy roller skates, but not just any roller skates. These aggressive inline roller skates. I just laugh about it now because it's just ridiculous. But I bought these um, these roller skates. Basically, you can do grinds and stuff on them. Like they've got this this like this grind pad thing in the middle, so you can actually like jump on rails and stuff. It's just so funny. And I spent like I don't know six hundred dollars on a pair of them. I hadn't even like skated before, and I'm like, yeah, I've just been watching the anime. I'm like, yeah, so cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend six hundred dollars on these roller blades. <laughs> It was such a bad idea. It's just funny now because that was years and years ago. But it's funny how some things just seem like such a good idea at the time. And you don't even like rationalize any of it. You just spend all this money on like something really stupid. And then <laughs> I did it for like a couple months and stuff. I've just got so many weird stories like this. And so I decided to, I kind of joined this club. Well, not really a club, but there was a bunch of these other guys who did skating. And so I'd get driven out, um, my mum would drive me out there, this was before I could drive or anything, before I had a license. <laughs> and I'd get driven out there to this skate park, and I'd, yeah, practice my skating with these other guys, and they're just like swearing and stuff like that, and my mum's just watching this. <laughs> oh, it's just so weird. And there was this one guy, one guy was actually pretty good at it, like he could like, do like, 360s and stuff and land on the pole and do all these grinds and stuff and his mate was skating as well but he just wasn't as good and it's like he was kind of jealous of the other guy <laughs> and he was giving me some tips and stuff like that and there's this big ramp and it's just like yeah just go down and I'm like I don't really feel comfortable doing this and he's just like yeah you got to do it anyway you're not going to learn if you don't push yourself so then I go down this ramp and I just <laughs> I somehow managed to not fall fall over or anything and <laughs> So I did it, I'm like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> that was close. And then he, he's like, yeah, do it again. I do it again, and I just stacked real bad. Lucky I'd like, I had these wrist guard things and knee pads on, and I just like fully grinded off the plastic of it. It was just, yeah, I didn't, I didn't keep that up for long. <laughs> that was enough. So I just have all these kind of funny memories when it comes to air gear. I've still got the... <laughs> the roller skates in the back of my car, just in the boot. And whenever I open the boot and I'm with some friends or whatever, they look at them and like, what the hell? <laughs> they just laugh at me. I just have a laugh as well. 
you know, I just keep them in there in case I ever get the urge to <laughs> go to the skate park and do some grinds. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I haven't really been talking about the drawing at all. And it's pretty much over. <laughs> One thing I just wanted to quickly say about this drawing. I did a lot of shading and stuff in the coat. And that was actually really challenging because I didn't really have the right markers for it, the right colours, so I was kind of blending between a really light grey and then like a darker grey, and yeah, that was really tough. <laughs> it ended up turning out okay, and that kind of helped that I used like pencil and stuff over the top as well, so it just helps smooth any of the gradients and stuff like that. So that's one of the kind of tips I always give out, incorporate pencil into your Copic drawings as well, that can really help especially if you want to get like smooth shading and also pastel on top of that. So that really helped with shading the jacket here because I didn't have the right color Copic. So it was pretty tough, but it ends up looking, looking pretty good, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. I'm working on heaps of requests at the moment, pretty much. I think I've got like close to 20 drawings that I'm working on at the moment. Some of them I haven't done the line work yet. I've just got stacks of drawings in the works and I'm going as quick as I can. If you want more regular updates, check me out on Instagram. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video, which is coming out next week. And I'll see you then.